Welcome to second part of the series Login and Authentication in Ionic Angular application. The first part is about how to develop the server side for the authentication process. In the second part, the focus will be on the client side authentication. For that, we'll develop the storage service. We store or retrieve the user information or access token on the client side. The authentication service will mainly define the methods like login, logout, sign up, and of course, we require the login page. So let's start. Create a blank Ionic Angular capacitor project. Using the command, generate the storage service. Install the Ionic storage library for the Angular. Add the Ionic storage module in the import section of the app.module.ts. In the constructor, create the storage object and add three methods here mainly to store value into the local storage, retrieve value from the local storage and remove the value from the storage. So it's basically work with the key value pair. Generate the authentication service. To decode the token on the client side, we'll use the JWT decode library. Let's install it. Require imports for the authentication service. Declare is authenticated as a behavioral subject. Whenever the application open, it first check if the token exists on the client side. For that, we'll define here the load token method, which load the token from the storage if it exists. Whenever the user fill data into the login form, that data will get submitted to this login method. So in the option, set the URL for the API header and the data. Make the HTTP request to the server using the capacitor HTTP API. If you are not familiar with this API, then please do watch this video. Check for the response. If the response contains the token, then set that token into the local storage. Set the each authenticated property to true. And let's divert the application to the profile page. So basically we require here two pages. One is the login page and the profile page. So let's generate these two pages. Using the Angular reactive form, we'll design here a simple login page. If you are not familiar with the Angular reactive form, please do watch my video where I explain how to use the Angular reactive form in an Ionic Angular application. So in the login page at the top, we'll display the validation messages. Then we'll take uh, two input fields, one for mobile number, and one for the password. Add a checkbox for terms and conditions. And a simple button to submit the data. Now add the reactive form module in the model.ts file. For the login page, uh, make the uh, necessary imports. We'll use here the form builder for the login form. Uh, 
on the page initialization just use the form builder dot group and add the necessary fields like mobile password and terms and condition along with its validations for validation we add here the validation messages So number only validation for the mobile number so that user only enter the numbers and could not enter the letters or other characters. On the submission, first check if the form is valid and then accordingly we call the login method of the authentication service. few styles for the login page so first register a user and we'll also cross check in the database The record is added. So on the successful login, the token is written from the server. So the demo is working fine. Please like the video and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.